Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to uh, get to the secret uh, base in Subnautica. Uh, it's around 500 meters deep. I'm doing this on my Xbox, so there's not coordinates to really um, show you guys. But I'll teach you a few ways to get into the in secret base. So what I'll preferably do is you need a sea hot. A uh, sea glide, and you need a uh, an ultra hot, an ultra uh, big oxygen tank. I'll just say for the moment. That's all you need, and um, yeah, just avoid warpers and trap squids. And I will start from the video right now. So I'm just going to aim for the base. It should be around here somewhere. It might take me a while. Uh, it's quite, it's there. It's kind of hard to find. It's uh, it's around. It's around the beginning of one of the three entrances to the Lost River. It might sound complicated, but in one of the entrances, you'll see like behind one of them that there is indeed a um, a base. So um, I left my my moon pillow and my ground sheets over there, so they could stay there. So right. We're gonna try to go this way. It'll be a bit com if you play on Xbox it's gonna be a bit harder to find. Um I think there as you can tell I think the base is and yes, it is indeed right over there. So what I would prefer you do is not leave your uh, sea moth right beside it because the crab squid could like just demolish it in just in just a few seconds. I'll prefer be like um Put it kind of far away from it and just get your sea glide and explore as much as possible. Um, this area, however, is actually there's a lot of crab squids, a lot of warpers, so you have to be careful where you put it. I'll put mine on the other side because that was a fog. Um, sorry, um, dang it. I wasn't really careful about that. I might give a bit of help on the team up. They might be coming for it, but uh, I'll get away with it. I'll get away with it. I'll hide over here and uh, surely they can do it. Mother fucker. Okay, sorry. This video might take longer than I expected, but we're going to tr we're gonna we're gonna find a place. We're gonna find a place. Still take a bit longer than I expected. Um, so right, we, yeah, that's another thing, you have to be careful and make sure you sneak behind, so, um, this is like as close as I can get, um, so, yeah, uh, uh, this wasn't really hard the first time, I forgot to save the game, so I just decided to make a video since so I'm quarantined, so, it's another thing to do, can I, can I make this work like this? So in three, two, one, I will be aiming for that big glide. Now, so we're going to see that our sea glide. I'm going to go really quick into the base, and um, the entrance is over here. Um, so you want to go over here. There's no other entrance to this base, and so you want to scan the alien containment. Um, there's also an orange tablet that um, you can get. I already got that, however. You can use that to enter one of the alien bases. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of oxygen, but, they all, but the crab squids get really oxygen. Over here is a cuttlefish. Um, and you can get that. It's, um, and there's your PDA. So I think the... And the oh fuck, um, but uh, I just feel like I'm gonna sneak out. Um, and there's another uh, PDA, and over here should be that one. And it's a cyclops shield. How I didn't make a cyclops yet. I I prefer to like um make a uh, moon pool of my consoles and stuff like that. Um, I'm not, you should get a consoles, sorry, you should get a cyclops, I mean, it's actually really useful. Um, at times, I'm trying to make one right now, but... Uh, something I have to 
be like, but it's actually a really scary look. But if you go over here, you can see like all the crap like, like right over there. See that? It's terrifying. Oh my god, it's terrifying, but it's really cool as well. You can just get like a full overview of the crab ship itself. So mm -hmm. I find that personally really cool. So yeah, now I have to escape now. So I have to think about that way. I have to wait for the perfect moment now. Um, we'll try to hide over here. We, we don't have much oxygen left compared to like what we found. We have to be really fast with this. We might lose a bit of health, I'm not here in this case, I can't lie, but we might be able to. Now, now, okay, okay, on to my sea moth, we have to go really quick. So, are they following me? Doesn't look like they are. So, yeah. So, altogether, from that, from that, um, base, all together you should get an orange tablet, uh, two PDAs, a data box and an orange tablet, which again, uh, the base is around the, um, oh, the really many bases, just like some fragments that you can do like scanners, stuff like that, so uh, just like open the door to that uh, research facility, mini research facility, I guess. And then scan as much as possible, and yeah, that. it's not really important, but I'm pretty sure maybe it'll get it'll give you a better overview of the game itself. So um, I would recommend you try to get the orange tablet as well. And uh, yeah, now it's this is also um, the PDAs are for like the big algae survivors as well, so it's pretty cool as well. So you should get that and listen to the PDAs. Anyway, that's my full video. I would highly suggest that you do not look at my other videos that I posted from a few months ago. I've changed a lot, like I promise you that, that was fucking cringe, I would like to see an equivalent of dog shit. But um, right, now um, thanks for watching and I'll try to post much more, um, yeah.